Welcome to this overview of dashboards. In this video, we're going to show you how to change between various pre-configured dashboards in the platform, as well as how to build your own custom dashboard. When you first log into the platform, you are presented with a default dashboard for each cloud provider. The default dashboard is a simple way to visualize your cloud infrastructure without a glance reporting on accounts, services, and assets that provide an overview of your cloud cost and services. In addition to viewing the default dashboard, you can use this dropdown to select a new dashboard to view by selecting one of the pre-configured dashboards or any saved custom dashboards. We'll go over building dashboards in just a moment. Let's take a look at one of the pre-configured dashboards called AWS Overview. The AWS Overview dashboard provides a different arrangement than the default AWS dashboard and shows a variety of graphs and charts reporting on different areas of your AWS infrastructure. If you like the layout of the AWS Overview and would like to set this dashboard as the default dashboard, you can click on the bookmark icon in the top right of the screen to save this dashboard as the default. This way, the next time you log into the platform, the AWS Overview dashboard will be the first dashboard you see. If neither the default dashboard or any of the pre-configured dashboards provide the high-level information that you or your organization needs, you can create a custom dashboard. To do so, click on the ellipsis next to the bookmark icon and select New. Here you can build your own customized dashboard. You can create multiple dashboards tailored for specific users. For example, you could create a dashboard that is solely focused on usage and create another that looks at performance. Additionally, custom dashboards can display data in multiple ways, including bar charts, pie charts, and tabular data. A custom dashboard can provide multi-cloud information. So if your organization utilizes more than one cloud provider, you can pull all of that information into one centralized screen. It is important to note, however, that even though dashboards can report on multiple cloud providers, they are not available in other cloud tenants in the platform. This means if I create a custom dashboard here under the AWS tenant, if I toggle over to Azure, this custom dashboard will not be available to view under that tenant. Given this, we recommend building your custom dashboard in the tenant you use most often if you intend to utilize information from other cloud providers within the custom dashboard. Your custom dashboard can be comprised of several different rows. Each row allows you to select an arrangement for the columns in that row. You can arrange your row to consist of one to three columns. Click on the Change Row Columns icon to select from different layout options for the columns in that row. I'm going to select the two column layout with a much larger column on the left side. Once you've set the layout, move to the widget section of the dashboard builder. Here you can choose from two types of widgets to drop into your columns and rows. One option is to drag and drop an interactive chart. The other is to bring in a rack. A rack offers summary totals. Let's first start by dragging in an interactive chart. You will see options to set your filters and to set a report type. Under filters, the cloud dropdown allows you to select which cloud provider you want this widget to report on. Use the theme filter to specify what type of reporting you want. For AWS, you can select from the themes of cost, usage, or performance. Once you've set your theme, you can then select which report you want this interactive chart to show. Please note that the options on the report change based on which theme you have selected. For this interactive chart widget, I'm going to keep the cloud as AWS, set the theme to cost, and I'm going to set the report menu to the cost history report, which automatically updates the name of the widget. Select the add button, and now I have the AWS cost history report as a chart in my dashboard. For the column on the right, Let's drag in a rack like we did for the interactive chart. We'll use the cloud dropdown under filters to set the cloud provider, and then select which type of summary totals you want this widget to show. For AWS, you can choose from options for cost, usage, and discount coverage and savings. I'll set this rack to show cost summary totals. Select the add button to add the rack to the column. 
You'll notice there's more space in this right column. If you want to, you can add another rack simply by dragging and dropping a new rack below the cost summary block. Let's set this rack to report on RDS usage and then select the Add button. You can build another row below this first one and keep the same layout for the columns or choose a different one. Add more rows by clicking the Add Row link. As you add your rows, drag and drop in your widgets to build a dashboard that reports on the items you want to see. Say for example my organization utilizes both AWS and Azure, I can build another row below reporting on similar metrics but for my Azure infrastructure. Or you can decide to include multiple cloud providers in one row by configuring your columns. The choice is up to you. Once you have your dashboard configured exactly how you want it, select My Dashboard to give your custom dashboard a name. You can choose to make this dashboard private or public. Saving it as a public dashboard will allow anyone using the Cloud Health platform to select this dashboard from the dashboard dropdown that we showed you at the beginning of the video. Saving it as private means that dashboard is only visible to you. After you've set the dashboard to be public or private, click the Save button. You can now make this your default dashboard by clicking the bookmark icon. If you want to make additional edits or changes, you can select the Edit icon. The ellipsis allows you to copy the custom dashboard. You can also copy any of the pre-configured dashboards within the dashboard dropdown if you don't want to build a dashboard from scratch but would rather copy an existing one and then make customizations. You can also download a snapshot of the dashboard as a PNG or subscribe to it so a snapshot is sent to you by email on a regular cadence. If you no longer need this custom dashboard, you can delete it. Additionally, you can click on the Dashboards dropdown and select View All Dashboards to go to the Dashboard Manager where you can see a full list of dashboards available to you. Here you can also choose to copy, edit, view, or delete a dashboard. And that completes our overview of dashboards and how to build a custom dashboard. Thanks for joining us.